Okay, uh, in the previous problem, I've showed you how to calculate the present value of a single cash flow. Now, this is let's look at this problem. This is also a present value problem, but it is not a single cash flow. It is a series of single cash flow, uneven cash flows. Now, how do you solve this problem? Very simple. Year, future value, PVIF, okay, at, what is the rate? Here the rate is not given. Okay, let's assume that the rate is 10%. Okay, and the present value. Now you have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now the cash flow for year 0 is 2,000, 3,000. 4,000, 5,000, 4,500, 5,500, okay? Now, what is year zero? Is there such thing as a year zero? Yes, basically year zero is nothing but now, current, present, right now, that is year zero. And it says here that, you know, the cash flows occur at the end of the year. Okay. Now, year zero is now. So, it's happening now. Now, and then, 3,000 occurs at the end of year one. So, you have to find out what is the present value of that. 4,000 occurs at the end of year two. Find out the present value of that. 5,000 occurs at the end of year three. Find out the present value. 4,500 occurs at the f end of fourth year. Find out the present value. And so also for 5,500. That occurs at the end of five years. Now, always remember the PVIF, present value interest factor, for any sum of money that occurs now, the PVIF is always equal to 1. So what is the value of 2,000 now? So 2000 into 1 is equal to 2000. Very simple. Now, find out what is the present value, PV, sorry, for PVIF at 10% for the other years, for year 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now again, let's look at that table. So what is the rate of the discount, discount rate? 10%. Alright, 10%. So... For year 1, it is how much? 0 0.9091. 0 0.9091. For year 2, it will be 0 0.8264. 0 0.8264. For year 3, 0 0.751. 0 0.751. For year 4, 0 0.6830. 0 0.6830. And for year 5, it is 0 0.6209. 6209. Huh? Multiply. So 3000 into 0 0.9091. Equal to two thousand seven hundred and twenty seven point three. Then year two four thousand into point eight two six four equal to three thousand three hundred and five point six five thousand into point seven five one three. 
683 is nothing but 3,700 3,073.5 and lastly 5,500 into 0.6209 3,414.95 so let's add up 3414.95 plus 3073.5 plus 3756.5 plus 3305.6 plus 2727.3 plus 2000 equal to 18,277.85 So that is the solution to the problem.